Okay, um, it's June 3rd, 2022, and I've got good news and bad news. I'll tell you the good news first. The two trees in the back are doing absolutely fabulous. Uh, that one over there is a Potomac, and that one there is a Shenandoah Papa. Now, the bad news is the Susquehanna one seems to be dying. Um, we had something eating its leaves, and I'll show you a picture of that at the end if, if I can find it. And uh, something was eating about half its leaves, and so we sprayed alcohol on all of these pawpaws, just very lightly, a 50, 50 mix of water and isopropyl alcohol. And we didn't get any in the soil. But for some reason, it burned the leaves on this one. So I would be very careful to do that. It did take care of the pest. But um, I see. Okay, I thought I saw a bug. So anyway, this has started to send out uh, suckers from below the graft. And I don't know if you can see, but the graft, the graft appears to have been right here. I'm not, I'm not certain of that, but generally when they send out suckers, it means that this grafted in piece has died. So that's the bad news, but uh, with those two growing as well as they are, um, uh, they're gonna be over the, over the top of this thing maybe this year which would be really nice. The taller they get, the better chance they have of fruiting. Uh, so, thanks for watching. Oh, I just wanted to show you how well the fig trees are doing. They were planted a, a year before the pawpaws. And when they, uh, they had some green fruit the very first year, but it didn't get ripe. And this one budded out early this spring, but then the frost killed all the buds, and you see the stalks that are cut. Uh, those were alive this spring, but when the frost came, looks like they're dead now. But it's coming up from the bottom. Here's one that's taking its time to grow, but it's it's alive. And these are th this one is looks like it's doing the best now. Uh, we planted this. This one and that tiny one, we planted uh, kind of halfway the yellow and white method. We dug down about a foot and a half and tried to layer the soil. There's six of these, so here's another one and here's another one. So I imagine probably three of these will have some figs on it this fall. My friend started these from a fig tree at our own place before she moved and we set out all six of them and they seem to have all survived. She just cut a, a branch off her old tree and stuck it in some dirt and kept the dirt really wet and kept it in the shade. And over the summer, uh, it, it sprouted. So we were pretty surprised how easy that was to do. So we're looking forward to the fruit. 